going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Majora's Mask. In the last part, we did none other than uh, explore a little bit of Great Bay Temple. In this part, we're going to do more Great Bay Temple now. We have the Ice Arrows. Now that we have the Ice Arrows, we actually can, you know... I need magic. That's not magic. Now that we have the Ice Arrows, we can actually... We can make ice platforms that can make some areas easier to get to navigate, like this one. We get more magic, that's solid. And so we kind of want to... This one is kind of a gimmicky enemy. We basically uh, shoot an ice arrow at it. And basically we push him to the platform. That also controls the currents for later. Now, in this part we should be fighting the second mini boss. I'm gonna fight the second mini boss, but afterward, after I get the boss key, I'm gonna leave Great Bay Temple and tackle a side quest in Clock Town. And then I'll call it a recording session. I'll just hit an owl statue and we'll call it that. So, uh, we're not going to do all, I'm not going to do all the Great Bay Temple in this recording session, but I'll do most of it. Actually, it's good we revisit, we have to revisit here, because, yeah, th this is, this is the strafe I was thinking of that I forgot. Yeah, this is the stray fairy I was thinking of. I knew I forgot one of the stray fairies in this area. It's a good thing I caught this later. So yeah, it's our eighth stray fairy. We're gonna. We're also gonna use our ice arrows to basically make platforms so we can access that that area easier. I forgot to equip the ice arrows because I forgot I, I de equipped the ice arrows. So, uh, yeah, stupid me. Here we go. I believe we should get more magic in here. Arrows, magic, nice. We need the fire arrows for this part. And for the next part, we need to re equip the ice arrows. Because we need the ice arrows for the boss. Right, so this is the last we'll do in Great Bay Temple for now. Anyway, so uh, basically, uh, we could. He's gonna. This is the first phase of the battle. We can just stem with our sword. Except uh, he's gonna try to suck us in. Except it takes two hearts damage. As humorous as the cutscene is, like it does do damage, a lot of damage. You don't want to do it. To, you don't want to do it, even intentionally. I mean, it's not a big deal if we do. So it's not like we're doing a three art run. Shit. No, no, no! I I froze it though. We still didn't see the cutscene. He just beats the crap out of us. Now we get it for real this time. He should be almost down. And he's yeah. One more hit. Okay, so we're gonna get our ocarina. So, uh, because this is the last we'll do in Great Bay Temple for now. We're still gonna go, but we're gonna come back here later. But uh, I do need to tackle something in Clock Town before we do. This earlier, but I want to see how much of the temple we're gonna do. So, um, 
And there's also a story I have. So um, back in the back in the 2000s, like internet walkthroughs, like game facts weren't exactly the most accurate. So like, pretty much the ideal way to uh, pretty much the ideal way to um, pretty much what I'm saying is the ideal way to look up to how to beat a game is to either a read game facts, which all wasn't always accurate back then, and like um, not only that, or the second part is uh, basically uh basically uh read by the official player's guide and the official player recommends you soar back to the entrance except they make a huge error and they say to play the song of time instead which uh we know you should know at this point in the game you not to do that and that takes you back to clock town but i can just i really feel sorry for the poor soul that ended up falling for that anyway so now i'm gonna soar back to clock town this is just another one of those completionist type side quests. We can only do it at night, and we can only do it at a specific time of night. Only mask we got earlier we got earlier with that uh allows us to go in the bar. We're gonna take our own advantage of that. So we're going to uh East Clock Town. We might as well equip the Gorn mask so we can go faster. Yeah, Romani's mask and the Gorn mask. Might as well use our Bust out our Goron mask for speed. I do love the Goron mask. It's just you, you you use it less frequently as you get the Zora mask. And, and if we, uh... If we are a member, please come in. We will not be allowed in here otherwise. Anyway, if we talk to this guy right here, we have two options. Have a drink. It's either mil regular milk for reviews or Chateau Romani for torn reviews. This is one of the best items in the whole game because it gives you unlimited magic. We're not gonna buy it for now, but um, we need to uh, speak to this guy. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. This place is a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I like to do a sound check, so I just wanna see what it would've been like. Hey you, can yeah, performance? Anyway, so uh, okay, you put the rice, go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your Ocarina like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good, that wretched, senseless racket? You know, add to our notebook. Might as well get out our Deku mask. We basically need to do this in alternate forms as well. We're gonna get out the Dawn mask. Help me performance. You play the drums, right? Go stand under the radar spotlight. Okay, play drums like this. Yeah, that feels good. He, they just say the same thing again. We're gonna get our Deku mask. You have any performance? Okay, play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. Okay, now play the pipes like this. There's the same, same thing again. However, finally, we need to get the Zara mask. Let's get our Zara mask. You can't do this until you have all three masks. But you should have all three masks by this point. How many performance? How do you recognize Macau? Okay, you play guitar right, Sammy, guitar to the right. Okay, play guitar like this.
with the best. That melody. That melody brings out so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Wind Fish. That's the song that members of the previous generation of Go Go's made famous. I entered show business because I heard that song at the carnival time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers in that song. The one Jared singer was from the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer, who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. We used probably the worst mask in the whole game. This is all it does. I'll just, um, this is all it does. I'll just equip it. I'll just equip it and, uh, this is the circus leader's mask. This is all it does. Just shed tears. Lame. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna soar back to Zora Cape and we're gonna cut it off for this part. So, actually, I'll just save it the owl statue. So, uh, Next time Jorah's Mask, we'll do the remainder of uh, Great Bay Temple, so, but I am going to end this recording session, so I'll see you guys next time. Uh, later, folks. Bye.